Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? Welcome back my dreamers. I am your host Anna and today's going to be a Dollar Tree haul. What? Did I click on a Dollar Tree haul? Yes you did. Yes you did. Everything I'm sharing is $1.25 and I got everything from a bill from my local stores in Waldorf, Maryland. The one next to Aldi's and one next to Rainbow. So it's a good mix. Now just a heads up. It looks like their truck did not come in on time, but there are boxes everywhere. So they have a lot of new product that's coming out. How soon will it get on the, out on the floor? I'm not too sure, but this girl just want to let you know what's up. Okay. Be on the lookout. They got the good goods and they're bringing them out. Let me show you what I found today. But before that, just know that I did get some hands of friendship in the P.O. box today. I did post the names and the areas where they came from so you know that I have them safely. I will be posting a video either tomorrow or on Saturday and releasing it either tomorrow or Saturday. Most likely Saturday. Um, so you guys know that I got them and I'm super excited to see them. Also, I will be having a Shein try-on haul. Honey, yes, I am plus size. I am a size 26, 28. Um apple shape shorty so if that's what you're about and that's how you look and you're trying to get an idea of what clothes look like on somebody that size come back and subscribe i will be releasing probably a try on haul sometime this week i have a huge box from shan i mean a huge box that just came in today and i have a couple of other like smaller things trickling in as well and i will be sharing accessories too i just shared a little bit box. Um, I did some really great Dollar Tree hauls. Uh, go check out all the videos. Lots of fun. Okay. And my gosh, it's like lots of fun. <laughs> Where did this Valley Girl thing come from? I'm not too sure. What do you think about the earrings? Yeah, I was going through my jewelry. I was time. It's try. It's time to break out the big guns. Yeah, I gotta break these out. And I did an autumn look today. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Take it in. Mm hmm Even my nails look. Mm -hmm. Autumn look. Today, it feels like autumn outside. I know it's going to get warmer tomorrow back into the, like, the 80s, but it feels really good outside right now, so I was feeling autumn. Eee! All right. Okay. No, I hear you. Gosh, don't stop brushing me. Let me enjoy myself. This is my channel. Let's go ahead and talk about the stuff that I have, okay? Now, if you remember, probably my second to last haul, I shared with you that I have found, this is the one I shared with you guys. This is a really beautiful um, painting. A little, you know, the little ones that you put up that have the little claw thing here in the back. And it looks like a purse with the, I guess those are, tigers or panthers i don't know what are those you guys tell me down below and then the purse that has all the bling right and i told you i had bought another one and i was trying to see if they, they usually come in groups of two or three or sometimes four this is the other one that i have bought let me take it out the plastic so you can see it okay this is the one that i had already and i had tucked away in my room and i said next time I, i'll pull it out and i'll share it with you so this is the one I had already had gotten and I didn't share with y'all because I was hoping to find like, you know, little matchy matchy. So this one again, blingy blingy. There we go. So I finally found a match. Now I wanted to put this like with my purses. I thought that they were so cute, especially since they have that bling. You see that? Yeah, they got the bling. Girl. I know. Can you say cute? Yes. And it's going to look cute like where my purses are. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm hoping that they have like a third. I'm going to keep a lookout for a third. If there's a third or a fourth, let me know down there below. Because those are so cute. Okay. I got some filters for my coffee maker upstairs we have a coffee maker upstairs that we make coffee in the morning then um 
I got another box of tissue. If you guys didn't know, these are my repeat purchases. I use a box of tissue on our dining room table. So I don't have a whole bunch of napkins floating all over the place with my kids. This is just easy and it's 175 and it worked great. This is how we do it, honey. Cause this is how we do it. Mm, mm. Come on. You got to dance now. Come on. You got to do it now. <laughs> this is how we do it. South Central does it like nobody does. All right. The next thing I want to share with you, I'm trying to see if there's any other repeat buys. Yes. Here's a repeat buy. I got some more. <laughs> I got some more. What the hell was that? <laughs> the blood, the, what was that? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. I'm not too sure. Okay, well, there you go. I got some more of the farmer-owned Prairie Farms chocolate milk, whole milk. And it is malicious. Okay, and my kids like this. So I did buy two. One's in the refrigerator right now as we speak, a getting code. And I brought one upstairs to share with you. So there you go. There you go. And it's good. My kids like it. And sometimes, you know, they get a little special with it. They'll put some cold whip in it or they put some of the flavored whipped creams and what have you. Yeah, they have fun with it. Okay. I don't think anything else is like a repeat purchase. Oh, except for the... For the uh, moon pies. I got some moon pies. I got these for the boys. And I did finally have one. And oh my gosh, it's good. But I can say personal taste. Personally, I didn't like the vanilla. I had one of the vanilla and I just, I didn't like it. I like the chocolate. The chocolate is really good. I can see why they kept, you know, eating them up really fast. I can understand why now. Because those are good. All right. In the... Let's go into the Halloween department. They have lots of stuff still coming out for Halloween. Um, they're still putting out brand new stuff for autumn. Um, like little things are still trickling in. And it's you, you always get surprised when you're finding something new there. There's always like something new to find. So I got these. I thought these were absolutely adorable. These are the loot bags. There's 20 of them. And they got the little puppies that are dressed up in costumes. And they're the nice big loot bag. As you can tell, see the size. It does come with the little holder here. Yeah. So I wanted to get the little loot bag. The little looty loot bag with the little puppies that are dressed. And they're so cute. I don't see any cats, just the doggies. And it says, Yappy Halloween. You get it? Yappy. Yep, yep. Halloween. <laughs> That's really cute. That's actually adorable. I thought it was so cute when I saw it. Then in the, um, what's it called? Is this like the stationary department? I can't remember what part this was. I think it was stationary. They have the magnetic boxes back by jot their two pieces, but they have them in three different colors. I got one in the pink because I want to see what it was like. They have one in a mint green and I want to say one in a blue. And it doesn't give the dimensions or anything, but let me pop this open. I only got one. So I wanted to, you know, as you never really know about the quality and I wanted to see what it was about. So the magnet is pretty large. That is nice. Okay. And that's what they look like. And okay. So you can put stuff in there safely because it does snap. It does close pretty good. It closes good. There's not a screw on. It's like you pop it open and pop it, you know, you pop it on and off. These would be great if you put a magnetic strip in front of your desk and you have like paper clips and tacks and other little things that you use. And um, you can line them up right in front of you off the table, but right in front of you with something like this and those cute little colors. It would just look really nice and organized. Yeah. So these are actually cute. Would I recommend them? Let me see. Make sure before I say something like that I'll regret. Okay. Yeah, these are definitely nice. There you go. Now, if you missed it in my last Dollar Tree haul, I have bought some papers. I had to give you guys a heads up of what was going on with the papers. 
I did a video on it. Where are my papers? Um, did I put them away over on my other side? Yeah, I put them away with my other ones, I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. Go see that video and see what's popping with that just in case you buy them. And you're like, huh? What's going on? You'll understand what's going on. Now, they have some really cute stickers. So, this was new to me. This is a 12-piece pop-up. So, it has like the little pop-up in the back. And it, there are these beautiful feathers. And normally, I'm not a feather type of a gal. I'm not. Um, but these were so pretty. And they have a little glitter to them. I don't know if you could see the glitter. Can you guys see the glitter up close a little bit? Can you see it a little bit better? It does have like a glitter, but they are pop up. As you see, it has a tape, so they kind of stick up. And they do have a relief feel to it, meaning that you can feel the you can feel the feather, like the veining within the feathers. If you run your fingers, your fingers over it, yeah, you can they're they're not just flat. They're not flat, which is kind of cool. Okay, and then the next one that I got, which I absolutely love, all their metal stickers. Love, 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 love them. And for $1.25, hell yeah. Okay, this is a 13-piece, and it is the Puffy. They're not flat. They're Puffy. And this is like all the hearts and the keys and the locks. So pretty. Let me see if I can pull them out. I know because it's like the sun is getting blocked, so it's a little dark in here, even though I have my light on. Um, there you go. Maybe you can see them better like that. How pretty are those? Right? Look at that. Okay. So those are super cute. Then I got the hearts. So let me pop these open. Let me pop these open for you so you can see them a little bit better. There you go. And I like how it has like the different textures and the different things and they are puffy and you can feel them. They're not flat. They're puffy and they're three dimensional. Okay. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I love the silver. The silver ones are like my absolute favorite from Dollar Tree. I love those. Love those. Okay. Okay. Then also from stationery, this is the last thing from stationery. They brought back the journaling ink metal twist up fashion pens. They had some different ones. Um, the solid color pens, like pretty pink one that I might pick up if they still have it later on this week. I, I saw a few things that I was interested in. They had this one out before. This is the pineapple. They had it out before and, um, yeah, mine's gone. So this is fast drying, non-smudging black ink, 1.0 millimeter. Okay. And this does write really well. And the pineapple is, the pineapple is in like, I want to say like almost like a rose tone color. Yeah. Cause you see the silver was well, like a rose tone copper ish color. And then it has coordinating polka dots against the white, which is really pretty. And then you just go like that. You twist it up. And it's not so heavy that it would be cumbersome to write with. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. This would make a really nice gift for somebody who enjoys writing stationary items, um, planner items, a planner. A person always has a planner with them perfect gift. Love this. Now that's everything from stationery. Let's jump over to beauty. Um, this was in the, like the hair department where you find the hair bows and all that. And I saw a few of you sharing these and this is by B color It's a heatless curling headband set creates beautiful heatless curls. And then it shows a before and after. I'm not too sure how this works okay let's just let's take this out and see what it is um so apparently it says you can either use this on wet or dry parted hair rod over your hair like a headband 
starting from the top, twist sections of the hair around the rod from your face. Continuously add your hair as you move down until all the hair is wrapped. Then use hair elastics to secure the ends. Keep curler in for four to six hours for best results overnight. So, oh, and it, keep, it does give you two hair elastics here for the end because it tells you that you're supposed to put it over your head like a headband and start wrapping your hair up around it and then put this here at the ends after you finish wrapping it all up. This is pretty long. So, it's pretty long. It feels like it's um that foam, it's that foam stuff inside and then it has like a little pearl, probably it might be a pearl pin right there to hold in the satin because it feels like satin material. So I got this one in the pink. Let me put this back on here just to see what it's like. And then I got the blue because I have a lot of hair. I got a lot of hair. So I didn't know how many of these I would need even though they looked pretty big. So there you go. And that's how you're supposed to use it. Maybe somebody's done like a demonstration on it online, maybe to get like a better idea of how the hell to do that. And it was like a little complicated, right? For something so simple. Now I did buy from the medicine department. They had two new products. Well, I bought two of them. So it's really one new product. Well, no, two products. Um, these are always there. I don't want to say always there because sometimes they're hard to find. Um, these are compared to Hall's Defense, and this is 30 drops um, dietary vitamin C. Normally, I pick them up around this time of the year. I leave them in the car because the kids use these a lot. Then they had the free gels, vitamin C drops, 30. I didn't know if these were any different or not. I didn't even check to see if they're like the same company. I'm trying to see. Who is this by? Trademark Best Co. No, they're two different companies. Yeah, they're two different companies. So there you go. And this one says can contain contain soy. This one contains soy. And this one does not contain soy. I just noticed it said soy. Huh. There you go. Now you know. So, so those are going to go in my purse and into the car. Then... um. Also in the beauty department, they had this, the, what was that? B.I. Beauty Intuition. This is B.I. Beauty Intuition. And this is a, a caramel brulee frappe lip scrub. Caramel brulee frappe lip scrub. So, Let's pop this open and see if it smells like anything because that's what the the description of it is what pulled me in. I was like, ooh, I wonder if it's going to actually smell like that. Let's find out. Okay, so first when you look at it, it looks like this. And it's like a white with speckled consistency. Here's a little top, which is kind of cute. I like, I like the way it looks. Okay, it has a very slight scent of more like a caramel. But it's, this is a lip scrub. So let me, let me just put some. Okay, this definitely is a lip scrub. The scrubbies are a little bit on the bigger side, just a heads up. It kind of feels moisturizing a little bit, uh, but it, the lip scrub is not like a sugar. It's like a little bit more intense per se. So if you need something a little bit more intense, something like this might work for you. And the scent is almost dissipated completely. So if you're going, if you're going in for it, for the scent, it's almost completely gone already. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good scrub though. If you need a good to, to, to take off, you know, your dry skin, that'd be good for that. Okay. There you go. Then they had some new, a new extra care 
non-medicated vapor stick, no mess, soothing vapors, cools and soothes, solid bomb. Normally this tells you something like, oh, it's compared to, and I'm looking at the other one because I bought two because I thought it was really interesting. It says no mess, soothing vapors, goes on clear and dries quick, glides on smooth, easy to use, best by date, uh, 06 of 2023. Okay. I think. Does it says 06 of 2023? I don't get it because because it's past um, 6 of 2023. I might be reading this wrong. I don't know. Because the numbers it says, well if you read it, it says 2023. It says 2023 060616. So it's not like, you know, it's not like the standard, but either way, they have it there. And, you know, stuff is good, well past, whatever, you know. So let's, oh, okay. She went flying. Let me take out the other one. Because this is the time when you need stuff like this. Okay, so she looks like that. Oh yeah, it smells like a vape, like Vicks vapor rub. Okay, let me put it over here. Oh yeah, as soon as you put it on, it feels cool. It feels cool. As soon as you put it on, it does have a cooling sensation. But it's, I want to say, it smells like Vicks vapor rub. But it's kind of, I don't like the way it smells now. I think it has like a funky smell to it. Yeah, it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, but there's something else in there that I don't like. Yeah, I'm not going to be using this. I don't like the way that smells. It's, it's like, it's like it, but it's not. There's something in this. This kind of funky. Yeah, even on my skin, it's leaving like a weird funky smell. Okay, those trash, trash, trash. And let me get that sucker to fell on the floor. Give me a second. Don't get that. This don't get. Yeah, it has like a funky smell. Don't get it. Ugh. Don't, don't do this. This, don't do it. Ugh. Woo, girl. I need, I need something to wipe this off with. Give me a second. I got more to share with you. Give me a minute. Woo. <laughs> I just knocked something over. I gotta get this off. Ugh. Yeah, don't get that. Ugh. Don't get that. Oh. Okay. I got some hand wipes. I'll do the hand wipes after I'm done. Whew. No, you don't want that. Okay. Then I also went and I bought. I still have some of that scrub on me. I bought the a Be Pure Compared to Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream Fragrance Free. Now I got the day cream, and I got the scrub from Be Pure, and uh, like it says, it compares to Olay. Regenerous and I like it. Um, I didn't have a problem with the, with the face wash. It was just fine. The face moisturizer, it's good. Um, I was using it. I used it alone for two days and it wasn't giving me enough moisturization per, for me per se, because you know I'm just you know my skin's going through some major changes right now. But um, I started incorporating my oils and then I would use that later. So it was it was helping me with my dry patches and what have you. So when I saw they had an eye cream, I definitely went and picked it up because I like the other one. And I like the face wash. So that's a good buy. Go check that out. For me, I'm enjoying it. My skin has no reactions to it. Then I did buy the Wizard 
uh, vanilla cookies. They had a vanilla cookie scent. Yeah, so that's, I got my fan on. I hate it when it comes down wet. I wish it would dissipate faster. I know it's like coming down on me. It's not, for me, it's not very strong. I'm so used to, to smelling my wax melts from Scentsy because I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. And all my wax scents, you know, the, the, they're very strong. So this is like super light. But it has kind of like a sweet smell to it, but not really. It dissipates rather quickly. So this will be nice for the bathroom. It won't be too overwhelming. But it's nothing like, ooh, ah, it's not. Yeah, because you saw how, you, you heard how much I just sprayed. It's not a ooh, ah moment. It's not. Okay, we're moving on. In the food department, they had the Morton's Seasonal. So they have a, a Seasonal in there now. So I bought the Morton salt. Now it's like an all season and in it, salt, spices, uh, pepper, black pepper. Oh my gosh. This is like really hard to read. Celery, celery seed. What else is in here? Yeah, because it has celery seed in here, I probably will not be using this. My husband will probably use this more than me. I don't like anything with celery seed in it. So, bull, booyah. Not bull, but booyah. There you go. It has some other things in it. I just can't read it. It's just so small. I can't read it. Then I got, um, look at these. I got, oh, also from the Halloween department, I was able to find another one of these. Super excited. I was on the lookout for this. I wanted some more of this style tinsel and these are really hard to come by now. So if I find another one, I'm definitely going to buy, you know, if they have like, you know, several, I'll buy like two or three more and then I should be good to go because I'm going to be using these in my dollhouses to decorate for like Christmas because I love that vintage tinsel look that it has. It was the only one that they had. So I was like, oh my gosh, at least I found another one. Then in the candy aisle, uh, Day Day was requesting, um, lollipops. Yeah. So there you go. So I got some lollipops and blow pops and these come in different flavors. It comes in, um, watermelon, grape, strawberry, apple, and cherry. So you got a whole bunch of different flavors in there. And then for me, for moi, for my desk area, and I need to hide these. I got some of the double bubble dreamsicles and I got some of the very cherry. Now I will give you a review for these because I've, I've used both of these. They're very short lived. As soon as you start chewing it up, it tastes great, 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 great. And then the, the taste and everything else goes away very, very quickly. So if you're the, the type of person that you don't mind that, cause I don't mind that I buy them. I chum for a little while, then I get rid of it. I'm good. I get what I need from it, and then I'm satisfied. <laughs> That's is a quick. It's it's not. It's not like your regular chewing gum, like extra or something that the taste just stays there forever. And they don't. This is a very short lived, very short lived, but still nice all the same for me. So, out of all this stuff. Ew. Don't buy these. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. They have like a funky, when you first open it, you're like, oh, it smells like fix. And then it has like this weird funky smell to it. Like there's like something weird about it. Don't do it. Don't get it. Just keep walking, keep walking and don't grab for it. So that's everything for this haul. Thank you so much for coming by and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.